Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Okay. Hello, good, good evening. evening hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Hello, Eugenia, Eugene. Hello. <laughs> good. Are you okay? Yes? Yes, yes. Oh. Okay, thank you. That's fine. That's great. How was the weekend, people? Good. Very good. Really good. Excellent. 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 <laughs> you need more. You need more. <clears throat> more vacation. More rest. Yes. Yes, I need more rest. Yes. <laughs> oh, me too. <laughs> I need five days. Weekend. <laughs> Monday, Mondays are the same, right? More Mondays. Monday to Friday. Yes. <laughs> I feel, I feel, I feel low on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday every day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we need more, more energy. Yes. That's good. All right. Let's see where it's going. So an eight is here too. Well, I would like to remind you where we were last uh, last Thursday. This is the video that we watched. Okay. Uh, last Thursday, I'm going to repeat the information that we have about the prepositions at, uh, on, and in, right? So it's there, or at, in, on. On. This preposition of time is discussed, sir. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up after noon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven p.m. equals seven in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In, this preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, a specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. So these are the time expressions, right, that we have, and also the, the prepositions. It's used to discuss a specific time. Are, uh, 
that accompany each, uh, each time expression, right? Like we have at eight o'clock. The other one is, for example, in the morning, in the afternoon, in June with the month. In 2010, could be the year. In 2021, okay, in 2003, in 2004. And then days of the week, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekend, a specific portion of the of the week. Christmas is on the month and the date, December 25th. Then we say Christmas is in December, only the month. Christmas is on December 25th. Okay, New Year's Eve is on December 31st. Then we use according to this specific. Time is present. Uh, let's see some practice. Then we have uh, fractions. We say here, complete the sentence, these sentences with time expressions or the uh, prepositions, right? For example, the first one that we have, it's I, I get up at, at on end. At, 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 at. at. Okay, so in the next one says, I go to bed late at night. At night. At night. At night. Okay, so at night. And I start work at, also at, at, at 11.30 a.m. Okay, specific moment. Um, I have lunch at 2 p.m. In, in the afternoon. In in the, yeah. in the, okay. the next one, number five, I stay up at 1 a.m. On weekends. On weekends. On weekends. On weekends. On weekends. On weekends. Good. So I wake up late. Mm -hmm. On, on Sunday. Sundays. On Sunday. Oh. I watch TV. In in the, in, the in the evening. In the evening. I do my homework. I do my homework. Around. Uh, around. Around or in the afternoon. In the afternoon. This is not in the video, but the around video? is approximately. <laughs> okay, so about that time, mm -hmm. more or less. Right? Mm -hmm. It could be. Uh, mm. I work on 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 I get home early in the morning in the morning in the morning from my night shift okay all right very good. Congratulations, people. Very nice. So we have no mistake, no problem. But uh, any questions? Una duda, com or comment, comentario, or something that you would like to Teacher, no yes. le escuché que dijo que significa Aaron. Around. Around. around is approximately, more or less, at that time, around that time. Okay, when it says... Um, around the corner. No, that's different. That's, this is time. That is place. Okay? Remember that these are prepositions of time. Okay? Pero también pueden ser prepositions of place. Ahorita las estamos viendo como time expression. Eh, porque in puede ser in the park. Let me start around. I lost it. Ah, here. Great. And then around is, for example, around 4 o'clock is 345, 350, 355, 4 o'clock, 4 5. Okay, approximately at that time. Okay, you can use it like alrededor de las cuatro, ahí por las cuatro, right? 
So that's the, they use around, around four in the afternoon. Around six. Nos vemos mañana around six. Como las seis, right? A little before or a little after. Okay. But no Salvador, no Salvadorian time, right? Okay. El around six sería como las siete y media, creo, right? But in this case, no, right? Es un, un tiempo prudencial, okay? Antes o después. But, pero si alguien, que te digo around the corner, quien dijo, eh, también es correcto. Pero aquí las vamos a ver como preposiciones de time, tiempo. Creo que ya vamos a ver también las de lugar. Cuando digamos, eh, eh, where's your book on the table? Ok, ya no se ha on Monday, sino que sobre, <laughs> sobre la mesa. Ok, uh, in the room, en el cuarto, right? So, but in, eh, in that case, we have to see the context. Ok, el context. Good, good, good. Right, the next one. Any other question? Alguna otra duda, pregunta, comment? But the next one is going to be about reading. Okay. So in this class, participants will develop listening skills for specific information about daily schedules, right? Daily schedules, okay, listening. Okay, about information about daily schedule 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 schedule, schedule. 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 for example schedule. The, schedule. the schedule that we study is six no it's from eight to nine right that's our schedule okay eight to nine what time do you study english eight to nine eight p.m uh-huh eight p.m to nine p.m Okay, that's your schedule. And what is your schedule at work? From seven to four, seven, eight. Seven to five, two, yeah. Seven to five, nine to five. Or it could be from seven to 12, and then from one to four, right? Depends on the company, depends on the enterprise or the office. Okay, so that is the schedule. Then there is a listening says daily schedule. Listen to Rodney, Ta uh, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedule. Complete the information for each person. Then this is where we're going to have. And first, only listen. Primero solo vamos a escuchar, right? Only listen. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay, listen again. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. 
I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. All right. So then you have the boy or the man and the woman. Okay, what does the man do? Do you remember some details about the man? He's chef. Chef? He's chef. Okay. He's chef. Where does he work? The afternoon and evening. Okay. He works at, what is the name of the place? In the hotel? No. Okay, he works in the hotel. Yes. Afternoon and the, and the evenings. Okay, that's when. When does he work, right? When does he work? Sketch. Mm, where does he work? Okay, when. Remember that you have to, uh, we have what does he do, where, where does he work, which is the location, the place. And we also have the, the when, okay, the time. When does he work or what time? What is his schedule, right? So these are the different, uh, uh, for example, words that we, uh, question words that we can use. And what about the lady? That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. Okay, what does she do? Uh, fly, fly attendant. attendant. She's a flight attendant. A flight attendant, right? Now, in your uh, personal experience, people, where, what do flight attendants do? What is their job? What are their activities? What do they do? They serve to the passengers uh, on the uh, airplane. They uh, serve what? Drinks and food. Drinks and food. Drinks and food. Snacks. Do do ex explanations about what to do. Uh -huh. for... they, they explain the rules, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. What, about what to do in case of emergency, right? Mm -hmm. yes. okay. Very good. Nice. What else? What else do flight attendants do? Sometimes get accessories that uh, the passengers need. Uh, like pillows or... Mm. Yes, exactly, uh, very good. <laughs> uh, headsets or, ear, or ear, uh, earphones, e earphones, magazines, right? Or sometimes, sometimes they also sell some products, right? Sometimes they also sell some products. Okay, that's nice. All right. Now it doesn't want to work. No more. Okay. So then we have the, in case we need to listen again. Now look at the questions. You say, for example, we have to write what Rodney is. Okay. His occupation. What time he gets up. What time does he get up? What time does he get home? Uh, what time does he go to bed? Then uh, what does Tina do? And then uh, what time does she get up? When does she get home? Uh, what time does she go to bed? And then we have also Ellen is uh, what does she do? The time that she gets up, the time that she gets home, and then the time that she goes to bed. So we have these three people, right? Now we can, no, it won't let me play it from here. Now we can play it from here. 
Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, okay. What about Rangni? What does he do? Chef. He's a, He's a chef. He's a chef. Okay. When does he get up? Or what time does he get up? At 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Okay. At 9 a.m. 9 a.m. What time does he get home? 1 a.m. 11. 11. Yes, 11 wow. p.m. Now, what time yeah. does he go to bed? 1 a.m. 1 a.m. Yeah, 1 a.m. Okay. 1 a.m. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's listen to Tina. Okay. okay. And I'm an office manager. It's a regular okay. 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? All right. So what does Tina do? Office manager. She's an office manager. Okay. Office uh, manager. Uh, here it says office manager, but it should be an office manager. Okay. Here it is there, an, no, a. An, an office. Uh-huh, an office manager. Now she gets up at what time? 7 a.m. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Okay, at 7 a.m. What time does she get home? 6 p.m. Usually she gets home at 6 p.m., all right. What, what about the time that she goes to bed? Midnight. The midnight. At midnight. At midnight. Around midnight. Right, at midnight. That's okay. Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay, so Ellen is? Fly attendant. Fly attendant. Fly attendant. Fly attendant. She gets up. 5 a.m. Before 5 a.m. Before, right? Before 5 a.m. Okay. And she gets home. At 9. At 9. At 9. And she goes to bed at? 10. 10. Very good. Okay. Okay, otro sin para mí, right? Thank you very much for your help. Thank you for contributing to my grades. Okay, good. So then, uh, any questions? Okay, no questions? Uh, the meaning of right away. Right away, immediately. Immediately. Immediately, right away. Let's answer this exercise right away. Right away, in this moment. No more delays. For example, I'm going to... Okay, good. No more questions about vocabulary or expressions here? Easy, right? Easy vocabulary, not too complicated. Now we're going to, I'm going to take the picture for the attendance. It's time for the picture. Hey, we're missing people today. 
¿Cuál? Ah. Más de uno. No hace falta gente. Ok. It's Monday. Ok, let's see. Now we have. Okay, people, thank you very much. We got all right. So we have two for five, ten, fifteen, twenty, ten. So we're missing five people today. Okay, good. So then, uh, that's the basically that's the end of the. Um, of the section number two. Okay, section number two, this is the, the last exercise. We finish with the, how do you spend your day? Right, we saw the WH question words. We have the simple present. A time expressions. Then the time expression of time uh, and adverse of time, right? So which was this one? And then we have the practice and the listen, right? With daily schedule. Remember, daily schedule is what we do every morning, every day, every afternoon, okay? Uh, for example, what is the, some activities that you do during the day? Uh, I get up early. For example, I get up at seven o'clock. Then I take a shower. Uh, after that, I get dressed. I, then I, uh, I drive to my, to, my, to my work while I drive to school. I have breakfast in the school uh, at 6.30. At 7 a.m., I start my classes. Some days, I start my classes at 7.40 or 9 a.m., different hours. Uh, I finish my classes at 12.30. At uh, 1, I return home. I have lunch at 1.30. Then uh, I sleep from 1.30 to 7.30, no, that's not true. Then I, I do other activities, right? I prepare my classes for the next day. In the afternoon, I, uh, or I look for some material or, or I make uh, video calls and other stuff, right? So this is, you know, probably what you have as a daily routine, but with hour, with a schedule. Okay, a daily routine is activity, right? That we do every day. And the daily schedule is the routine, but with a specific hour or a specific moment during the day, okay? The information depends on what you want to, to share, right? For example, okay. But, and then, uh, for example, you can say, I, let's see, I get up, uh, I get up uh, early in the morning. I have a lunch uh, at one. For example, I have breakfast at 7 a.m. I have lunch at uh, 1.30 p.m. I have dinner at 6 p.m. Then I'm giving you my eating schedule, okay? The hours that I eat. And then you can use the eating schedule, the you're taking, uh, taking a shower schedule, for example, Monday to Friday, I take a shower at uh, 4.30. On Saturdays, I take a shower at 6 p.m. On Sundays, I take a shower at 
7 or 8 a.m. So then this is the out, different hours, the schedule for my showers during the week, okay? Now, if you take two showers a day, you know, I take a shower at five at 4.30, then I take a shower at 3 p.m. after I do exercise, after the gym, okay? Then you can also use that schedule, okay? So schedule, talking about time. Okay, then no questions about it. We move on to section three. Here we have section three. Now we have how much is it? Okay, when we talk about how much is it, what uh, what can be the topic? When do we use the question or the phrase, how much is it? When, when I buy some, some product. Exactly, right? When I buy some product, when I need to buy some product, when I am going to buy some products, uh, when I sell some products, right? When I go shopping, okay? So in this moment is when we, uh, we use, right? This expression, how much is it? Then in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Okay, remember that uh, also in some places it is important to, to use demonstrative pronouns like this. For example, you can use uh, here uh, this pen, okay, because I have it in my hand, but you can use, for example, that pen, okay, when you use this one, that pen. If it is plural, okay, you can say these, these pens, plural. Okay, this and this, and those, the distance. Okay, this, when I can touch, plural, this, when I can touch, singular. These in plural, that in singular, but no touch, no contact. Okay, if I touch this, if I don't touch that, okay, if I touch here, these, but if I don't touch them, those. Okay, so then we're gonna see the singular, the plural near and far, right? The distance. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. No, oh, the yellow ones. Oh, you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. 
Okay, so here's the first one. When it says, look at those earrings. Those okay? earrings. Because look at the man's hand. The man's hand is not in contact. It's not in contact with the earrings, right? Hey, look at those earrings. And the lady, Maria says, these red ones, she's not, she's touching them, right? This because she's touched. Uh -huh. This is plural, those earrings, these red ones. Okay, ones substitute earrings. Okay, ones substitute earrings too, right? No problem? And for example, here when you say earrings, goes to one. Okay. Then you say, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect. Okay. Also, they are his earrings. The earrings are perfect for you. These red earrings, I'm not sure. No, the yellow one. Okay, yellow one also for the earrings. Okay. Oh, these. Okay, also this is for earrings. Okay, you see uh, how they are substituting. They are changing these ones, they and they don't repeat earrings, 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 earrings all the time, okay? They say, the, oh, this, hmm, yellow isn't really good color for me. Well, that necklace, the necklace here. Okay, necklace. So we have the necklace, isn't bad. Which one? One is for necklace. See here, one is because it's singular, one necklace. And here, once, earrings, plural, okay? And say that blue one, that blue one, okay? That is always the necklace. And this is also the necklace. That the blue one right there. How much is it, the price? It's 42. This one that is too expen that is expensive is not related to that. Okay. They say, hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay. Questions about vocabulary? Uh, comments? Alguna duda? Vean como se dice which one? One, ones. Okay. For example, if I use, uh, let's see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Here we have uh, her, the next one. Okay, have here, huddle. Okay, Harold. Hi. Hi, uh, Harold. Uh, how many hands do you have? How many? Uh, repeat, please. How many hands do you have? Look at me. How many hands? Um, hands. Mm -hmm. How many? Okay. Um, no. You have two? Two hands. No, three. Correct? Huh? Two hands. Three. 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 One, two. Ah, two, two, two hands. Two hands. Okay. Two hands, not three. Okay, Harold. Then, I lost Harold. Where is Harold? Me perdió. How can you speak? Es el mismo Harold. Ah, estoy que es que no no lo escucho bien. Okay, está. Ya no hay que. Ya lo veo. Okay. Now, uh, if I say in English, show me your hand. Muéstrame su mano. Show me your hand. Oh, 
Ok. No, and then, pero yo no quiero que me muestre esa. Como tiene dos, ¿qué me diría? Which uh, one? ¿Cuál? Uh, which one? Eh, which okay. one? Ajá, which one? ¿Cuál? Ok, and then I say the left one. The left one. Like left the one. The left one. Okay, very good. It is. Uh huh. That's correct. That's the left. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay. And then this is it. Uh, let me see another one. Uh, let me check. Uh, let me see now. Kelsey. Hello, Elsie. Hello. Okay, Elsie. Now, uh, how many fingers do you have? Uh, I have five fingers. Five fingers. Okay. Show me your uh, five fingers. Hand. Okay, show me your five fingers. Okay, good. Now, okay, now move, move the, move the thumb one, the thumb. Or they move the, let me see, the index one. Remember? Okay, very good, excellent, okay. Now I say move the index one, okay, the index. Mueva el índice, okay. Ya no le digo finger because we already know that we're talking about the fingers, okay. So you see, this is to give more a uh, abbreviated, in a specific instruction, okay, to people. Okay, if I say, for example, show me your fingers, okay. Now show me the thumb one. It's like giving light, I'm gonna un like, right? Show me the thumb one. right? Not the thumb finger. Show me the index finger, right? Or move the index finger, okay, right? So then we have the little finger, uh, we also have the, sorry, we have the little finger, the ring, the anillo, right? The ring, the anular, that we say in Spanish. The middle finger, el dedo medio, right? The, in, the middle finger, the index, and the thumb. Okay. Questions? Okay, good. So this is, you know, some extra explanation about the video. Now yeah, just they're perfect. While shopping. Pay attention to the pronunciation. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. All right. So that's the introduction to this, right? And say, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to demo, uh, to use demonstrative pronouns, this, is, that, and those, to express possible choices. Now let's watch another video in a store. Okay, for example, we have this one. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns this, these, that, those to express possible choices. Something is wrong with that audio. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstrative. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? 
The blue one. It's forty-two dollars. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're eighteen dollars. Prices: forty-two dollars, fifty-nine ninety-five, or fifty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four: this, these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This singular near, these plural near, that singular far, those plural far. Therefore, we use is for this and that, and are for these and those. In English, we use one or once very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, "Is that your car? Which one?" The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. The words one or once always go at the end of the question and answers, and they replace the noun in question. Those. In English, we use one or once very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. Okay, so which one? The red one. The one one is like a pronoun. In this case, right? That substitutes uh, the the noun. In this case, for example, the car. If it is plural, we're going to use ones. Uh, the red ones. If it is plural, if it is singular, we're going to be using one. Uh, for example, say uh, I need to bring me the shoes. Which ones? The black ones, the brown ones, uh, the blue ones, the let's say the what is the sneakers, the sneaker ones. Okay. Oh, uh, for example, you can use the yellow ones, depending, right? So that's the the use, the correct form of using this. Any doubts or questions? Okay, uh, what we have in the, for example, if I am here, you can ask me. For example, let me see, person. Take an object, yes, show, sure. show me an object that you have near, near you, any object. Show me an object. Um, Anything that you have. It's a... Okay, good. Then, okay, people, what is the question for Harrison? What is this or what is that? I can say, what is this or what is that? What is this? What is this? What is this? The question that you will ask him, what is that? What is that? Mm -hmm. What is that? Because he's on the other side, right? Él está allá, right? So he's over there. So I ask him, hey, Harrison, what is that? What is that? What is that? And then Harrison says, this is? This is a calculator. Calculator, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a calculator. Harrison, what is that? Oh, this is a calculator or it's a calculator, okay? So then you're using, what is this? For example, um, let's see, Anna, what, what's that behind you? Excuse me? What is that behind you? Ah, is uh, the curtain. It's a curtain, right? It is a curtain. Okay, mm -hmm. good. That's nice. And then uh, let me see if I can also do this. Is, uh, for example, the, the kind of question when you ask on the other side is that. Okay, when you ask on this side, eh, you can say. 
this. Yes. Okay. Now, for example, ask me a question about this. O deme una indicación que, que toque una de esas que están atrás. Que say, teacher, o Luis. Teacher, Luis, please. Touch. Touch the, 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 the white curtain behind you. The Touch. white? This is because this, this no white. curtain has white curtain and you have curtain with two colors. Uh huh, correct. But there is no white. Oh, yes, it's gray. No, it's not gray. <laughs> not gray. It's like no. blue. Huh? <laughs> like think, blue. Yeah, it's for the luz, it's for the luz, maybe, right? Uh -huh, yes. Okay, then you say. Touch the light blue one, okay? Okay, touch the light blue curtain, right? Touch the light, this one, or this one? Yeah. This is gr this is like brown. So which one, which one should I touch? This one or this one? The gray one. This one? This one? Yes? Yeah. Okay. You say yes, that one. Yes, that one. Yes, that okay, one. yes, that one. Okay, so the, you see, this is how you communicate using this, that, okay? Or you can say those. What are those? Okay, for me, is what are those two? Because I am not touching them, right? What are those behind me? Huh? They are curtains. Okay, and what is that? What's that? Mirror. 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 It's a mirror, right? It's a mirror. In my case, I say, what that, is that? That's okay? a mirror. Because I cannot touch it, right? So what is that? Okay. But if I get here, I can say, what is this? What is this? Okay. And then you say, that, that, is, is, that is a mirror. That is a mirror. That's correct. Okay. So you, you see, this is, for example, how we are using uh, the different things that we have. Okay, we can also say, what is this? Notebook. Uh -huh, it's a notebook, okay. And is a notebook. what is this? Those, those are, those Only are. One. Uh, what is that, this? Uh -huh. that is a notebook. That is a notebook. What are these? Those, those, those are, are notebooks. Are, are notebooks. Uh -huh. Those are notebooks. Okay. Now, which one? Which one is in my right hand? Which one is in my right hand? That. That is a the orange, orange notebook. Out. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Well, good. Now, which one is in my left hand now? That is a green one. Now, I change it. Finish it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> dije ahora, right? ¿Cuál está ahora, right? So I change it. I switch. It's a trampa, right? So then, yes, the orange one. The true key. Okay. Right, say which one? The orange one. Okay, and now in my right one, I have the green one. Okay, so these are what are these? And then you say those are. What is this? And you say that is a notebook. Okay, so depending on the distance, right? So these are the different uses. When you go to a store, when you go to a store, you say, hey, I like those jeans. Okay, me gustan esos jeans. Right, I like those things. But if you can touch them, si hay aquí a tienda donde se pueden tocar, está cerca, bueno, say, I like these things. Okay. Remember that when we talk about pens, eh, it's, um, I'm going to show this. It's uh, plural. 
even pants, eh, aunque los pants son solamente es un común pantalón que nos ponemos en inglés, se ocupa el plural, right? These pants or jeans. Y en Spanish, en Spanish tendemos a decir un pantalón, right? But, uh, but in English, they, they use these pants, okay? They, use, they don't say it's a pant, okay? That, that the singular is not in English. In Spanish, yes, we can use singular and we can use el pantalón negro, right? But in English, you will say the black pants. All right. I think there is uh, here a video about, after this one, there is another video. And this is a picture. <clears throat> so it's small. Yes. Okay. So here we have this one, and there is there are some questions. They excuse me, how much? And then you can see the picture and then you can use, I think it's this one. Okay. Then these are the jeans. And then the lady says, excuse me, how much? Then are these, are those? Are those. Are those. Are those. Okay, are because the lady those. is pointing, right? The distance. Okay, so remember this is the same. Uh, are those? Are those, yes. Just for you to have a reference, those. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then what else? Are those? Are those. Then the next one? Which? To say which? Which, which ones? One. Which, which one? ones? Okay. Do you mean this? Mm. Hey, what is do you mean this? What is do you mean this? Um, do you mean this? Okay. Te refieres. Te refiere a esto, right? Okay. Do you mean this? Exactly, right? Then the next one. No, the light. These are the blue ones, right? This? No, the light blue one. Okay, the lady says, uh, do you? Okay, do you like this? No, the light blue one. Okay. The light blue one. Then, oh. The, they. They, right? They. We're talking, like, that's what I told you. They are in plural, right? Mm -hmm. The case, they are 59.95. Okay, in other words, $60. Okay, then it says, I like. I like that backpack over there. How much? Mm -hmm. This is it. This is it. And then you have select an option. Which one? The red one. The, the red, red one. Red one. Okay, good. And the last one. One. But the green one, it's only. Uh huh. One, but the green one is one. Ok, hijo, hoy sí he venido con ganas. Mire, otro día me saqué, right? Good. A ver qué día me alcanzan con estas notas que llevo hoy. Ok, good, only tens. Very good, excellent. Congratulations, people, that's good. Right, so then we have uh, our those ones, ones, they, is, one, one. If you see, this is about singular, plural, 
uh, near the distance, near, or if it is far, okay, near and far. Okay, then for tomorrow, we're going to have some, uh, a, a group activity, let's say, okay? It's going to be a group activity in which we are going to, a, we are going to, to practice, practice the, the conversation, okay? The conversation in the how much, okay? The one about the necklace, la que está hablando del, del ring and the necklace, okay? Practice that one because that's the one that we are going to, vamos a, lo vamos a practicar en los eh, breakout rooms, okay? So please, eh, practice that eh, vocabulary and what else? Ah, and this one, about which one, eh, that one, these, those, because tomorrow in the, in the group, you are going to, to make a conversation and then you are going to tell me the conversation. No questions? No. No? Okay, then. No, thanks. Practicar, practicar el vocabulario, okay? And then, uh, mañana lo ponemos en práctica. Esos dos, creo que tenemos suficiente tiempo para hacer una práctica for tomorrow. Nos vamos moviendo bastante rápido. Solo dos cositas más. Bueno, una, es, estuve revisando las notas el sábado, y perdón, el viernes en la mañana. Ya ahorita la voy, a, voy a volver a entrar y mañana les voy a decir porque habían unos que todavía no me habían hecho ninguna actividad. Y había otros que ya van hasta por el midterm exam, ¿ok? Lo cual está buenísimo, no hay problema. ¿Ok? Entonces, este, si tienen alguna duda, háganmelo saber. Pero sí vayan este, llenando los, los, los ejercicios para que no se vayan a quedar atrás. Este, este, mier este jueves tenemos que hacer el, el miércoles jueves tienen que hacer ustedes ya en la más tarde de jueves el midterm examen. Ok, vamos a hacer una, un repaso rápido del examen el jueves para que tengan una idea y lo puedan hacer a más tardar jueves o viernes, ¿no? para que ya quede, ya les quede a ustedes registrado. Ok, y luego okay, les teacher. mandaron un, creo que en el WhatsApp mandaron los nombres de los que no habían mandado el documento de, del manual, así que solamente un recordatorio para que lo para que lo manden, ¿verdad? Sí, ok, sí. Tipo, ajá. Um, perdón, si me interrumpo, pero le quería preguntar, ¿a usted le aparece quiénes han mandado y comprobado? No, eso sí no. Este, oh, no, no le aparece. Eso Ay, sí, ya. no aparece. A mí ellos me lo mandan, uh -huh. así como el que mandaron a ustedes, me lo mandan a mí también. O sea, que aparece ah, en vale. WhatsApp. Pero ya, ah, no, vale. ya no dice quién lo mandó. Ah, vale. okay. Pero yo puedo preguntar mañana cómo va la lista y ya me, me la vuelven a, a, a actualizar. Okay. Ajá, es que como hay veces que así porque en el módulo anterior que estaba la teacher nos decía de quiénes eran los que hacían falta que todavía no lo habían mandado. Y de ahora no eran creo que sí. cinco o seis que estaban ahí y este uh -huh. ya este mañana ah. pido que me lo actualicen para ver si falta alguien más y yo les aviso. Ok. Ah, bye, bye. Ok, good. Have a good night. Bye bye, people. Good night, teacher. Okay. Bye. Good night, good night. 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 Good night.